So another exam question on inequalities. This is like a double-headed inequality, part A. It's got two signs in it at the same time. Not sure we've actually mentioned this recently. What's the best thing to do? Callum? Don't you treat as two separate... Uh, yeah. Just forget about the right-hand bit and do that. And then separately, forget about the left-hand bit and do that. So sort of do that as two separate bits and then come together again at the end. So let's work on the left-hand side first of all. First step, somebody, not the front row, they're not allowed to answer. Plus eight to both sides. Next step, divide by seven. Okay, so I've, isola I've isolated, <coughs> excuse me, I've isolated my x over here, that's good. Do the same on the other side, add, <coughs> add 8 to both sides. <coughs> Just water a minute. And then divide by 7. And then just join them together. So you've got an x, but on the left of the x you've got that written down. And on the right of the x you've got that written down. Okay, so that's just how you deal with those double-headed ones. Just do it for two bits and then join them together again. <coughs> part B, okay, part B we had to solve y squared plus 10y is greater than or equal to zero. <coughs> it's a quadratic. Hasn't, it's only got sort of two bits. It's got a y squared bit and a y bit. What could we do on this one? Callum? Can you take the y out so you'd have y equals brackets y plus 10? And we could take it, act like that. We could factorise it yes. and have that. Yep. Can you call it crap? Can I? Sorry? Um, you could complete the square, but if you can factorise it, factorise it like this, it is a more efficient way of doing it. Okay. Now let's just pretend a minute that that was an equal sign in there. Okay. Let's just pretend it equaled naught. If it equaled naught, what would you do at this stage? Go on. <laughs> You've got something times by something equals naught. You just tell me the answer. Go on. Yeah, either y equals naught or that equals naught. Lots of you are overcomplicating, okay? Remember, two things multiplied together equals naught. Either the first one equals naught or the second one equals naught. But I was pretending there was an equal sign in there. That isn't an equal sign in there. So There's that sign in there. So, so actually, actually, we should have had that in there instead. Well, that's absolutely fine. That bit there is great. That's got a Y on its own. So that's perfectly good as a bit of answer. Over here, I want the Y on its own. Y is greater than or equal to minus 10. Yeah, take that 10, other side, where it becomes a negative. But, actually, we have to think, is this right? Is this right? Go back to the stage up here, where we knew had it like this. What would the roots be of that one there? What would the roots be if we solved it? Zero and minus ten. Okay. Is it happy or sad? Um, happy. happy. So that looks like this. Minus ten there, zero there. We wanted the whole thing to be greater than naught. In other words, above the x-axis. It's there and there. Does what we have actually work? And y is greater than naught? Yeah, that's there. Yes, it does work. No, that one doesn't work. That one doesn't work. Yeah, okay. That one, at the minus 10, because it's this curve, isn't the right way around there. Okay? And we need to put it in there like that. 
So it's actually probably better to keep pretending there's an equal sign in here until the very end. And because it involved a quadratic graph, sketching it and just drawing it and see which side of it you need to go. Okay.